I had to cut the legs. So. You know, and, and, and in somewhere in the world, I work that time all the time. The saying, the man who moves after a few days, after a few days, is stuck as a stick. Get on the floor, How old is it, uh, the watch when you got it? I always lose watches. Yeah. yeah, it's very pity. And I always get new ones from my parents. I sometimes stop at the window of. Uh, watchmaker or and then oh this one I like and it's always the most expensive they have. I used to have a beautiful one but after I have lost a really precious uh, Swiss watch they have decided maybe not now. So this one is just a simple thing. I'm used to this but I get them from my parents mm. so I take it off uh, where I feel, when I feel safe. At my office I very, very often take it off, or at my mother's place. So it's, I, then I forget it and people say, oh, you have forgotten your watch. And I say, yeah, but it means that I feel safe here. When so it's something that I... The watch, I, it was given to me by my husband. Mm -hmm. Like... Uh, 12 or 13 years ago. So, and I have worn it ever since. I never left it. I just, um, I'm attached to it. This is something you can say, yes, I am attached. Because it's a very good watch and uh, I, I show he invited me to choose it. I, mm -hmm. So it was not really a surprise. So, yeah, he let me choose whatever. Uh, recently someone asked me about it and said, don't you want to sell it to me because uh, I really like this watch. I said, no, no, I am never going to leave this watch. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting tired of it, or, or it doesn't really, you know, something. Mm -hmm. You could call that I am attached to. Mm -hmm. Maybe the only thing... I lost it in a museum in Hong Kong. And the curator found it and brought it. We saw each other a year later in Venice. She had my watch. It was very nice. And then I lost myself. My girlfriend bought a new one, quite cheap, but a good one. And it was a big one, like a box, and I had it, and like, I cannot lose it anymore. But yeah, watches, I need it because yeah, you do a lot of appointments. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm on the move, then it's, it's more necessary. Yeah, it's like time is all the time there. From the same question, is it day or is it night? Can you tell me in which city we are? Because I am expecting a few pieces of Moulin also, and I am not sure if everything is going to come together. But I don't know, this is interesting to, to mention. I'm starting to care more or less, you know, uh, about what I am surrounded with. I used to, to put a lot of things around me, you know, I have need of a lot of, of uh, decoration and, and to feel, you know, comfortable. Now I have recently I have acquired some pieces, but it, it doesn't have this decorative value mm -hmm. uh, as I used to think it would have, you know. In earlier times I used to buy things like, for instance, this is there because it suits the color of the place and you know kind of um, pure decoration elements mm -hmm. which uh, of course one has to you know do something with decoration uh, to make uh, the life the, 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 the coziness of, of the house table maybe uh, no table is all doesn't really fit the place, but still, I just painted it. But it is all kind of old. I it's bought it from Morocco. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't know how they got it, but it was in an really old market in Brussels. This table, I think I have it uh, eight years, nine years. I, I I get it from the father of a friend 
who was a kind of director in a school and uh, part of uh, an old little school in the in the village. I think the school closed. There were a lot of stuff that yes, could, could be thrown away. It has also to do with that in that period I made a lot of work with the tafel uh, tafel blad to start the composition. I I like plastic because I was uh, working with colors. So I had a oh, blue really one, a green one, a red one, wow. and this was a grey one. So I had to cut the legs and I worked that time, all the time, just on the wall, not yet on the floor, in the ceiling. Um, in Budapest, this, uh, this January, I, we have stayed almost two weeks there and it was extremely difficult. It was everything was bad bad energy from from everywhere the museum the city the staff our colleagues partly and was and i was what i was missing uh, was the music and my table i was missing to sit here you know to to have this shape this dimension this this furniture it's nothing it's even not a real wood it's cheap stuff from ikea but I have been working here, I have been having meals here, meeting friends, having discussions, quarrels, so it's, you know, it's, it's a lot of power. This day will come later when the mother of my girlfriend died and then also that house was changing. And no, we only have the, the table and the chairs because there's no place for the other stuff. Mm. But I have also, also a complete set somewhere in the house that is not used that my parents give me when they changed their house. And so then, for the moment, there place. is a, too much, and <laughs> <laughs> we cannot use all things we, are, we have. It's not worth it, but uh. it's there. We have too many things. So I don't know if you. But it is from my professor, of, and she has the heritage after her parents, so I appreciate it very much. It's a wonderful period, beautiful, beautiful uh, place, full of books and all. And then while I'm moving from, from her place to another one, we got a present with, with China. She, she had from her mother. That's from late 19th century. It was a big set. Now we have rest, but we have also... Uh, I didn't feel the need order. to keep anything sentimentally or, or emotionally. I am very you know, disconnected with a lot of things. I am not someone who likes to cherish objects as I used to. Mm -hmm. No, I don't care. Not really. Mm -hmm. But pieces that were given to me by my family, of course, by respect of the family, you, you cherish them. And to have to have things to you know to feel comfortable. No. no. I wish I could get rid of much more things. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think this is also a nice precious set of books. My grandmother. It's a side of a hat. And this I brought from Sri Lanka. This is a jewelry box mm -hmm. in bronze. But it is not special, you know, it's just a souvenir. Things I like to cherish. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I felt for the summer it might, you know, it's like it lights it up. It's like, because in winter it's full of books. And I I think the glass it gives a peaceful uh, atmosphere. And it's so transparent, it's light and, and it's uh, and on the other hand it doesn't impose. Mm. You know? I put this up for the summer because in winter it's full of books 
And I was sort of fed up with all the books. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway, to change. I like to change. I don't want just things I can buy in the market. It's not the question of money. Or this must be something special, like friends. You, you choose friends for yourself. The sofa, which was, we had a very old one. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking, what should be practical and what should we have here? And then I had the idea that I, I need this kind of, uh, you know, two mattresses with one, uh, pe with one cover that keeps it together and maybe two, um, maybe the pillow or something. So it was my design and I could not get it. And I even thought that I will make someone uh, to do it for me, that I buy a cloth. And having this idea, we went once to Ikea, and what do we have new? New sofas. I thought, oh, my design, I should have, yeah. <laughs> and we bought it. It's almost, yeah, only, only the pillows are different from my concept. So I was rather proud of it. But I'm not a thing. A thing? But in my mind, I'm not so thing minded. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's about feeling what's your last emotion, of your last movement of trip, or your last headache. But the thing. Now I see it through the camera. Oh, a little chair. It's made from uh, the closing of a champagne bottle. We had a party on the New Year's of yeah, New Year's Day. It's one or two years ago already. And everybody was playing and you know, amusing themselves. And in the morning <laughs> there were like small things that were wear. And, and we, we kept it because it's very nice. Ik weet dat niet, a piece of wood. It was given me by a, a friend. There was a very big tree in the garden, but something was wrong with the tree. So they had to cut it because they were afraid that maybe it could, could fall in storm. I can trace it from my gut, I don't know why. Yeah. I forgot the reason. Souvenirs. Yeah, for me it's only a souvenir and I... It, it's a, a thing more. Again, yeah, yeah. everything makes me think of the overloading situation. That's nice when the peace is important, the moment that it's on the way and, and it's moving. But when it stops, oh, this is important, you have to put it. Just to pray every morning or evening, then you become more addicted to it. The material situation. Relatives. And he came back home late at night with his driver bringing something heavy and big. <laughs> Here, this shelf, and you can take it away. And I prefer this, this without this shelf. Uh, so it is two or three weeks. It's without it. I take it away. I uh, hidden hide it somewhere in the wardrobe or somewhere. And I leave home. And after a few days, I come back and I see it's again with its shelf. So it's changing. And you always see who is in power at this place at the moment. Me or my husband. Now I my husband and I were divorced. We came back together mm -hmm. when we were divorced. He took the TV, I took the video, you know. And so when he came back, he brought another television, another video. <laughs> so we had two televisions, <laughs> two videos, you know, because when I went to this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this drops of coffee makes me remind the tradition. I also like the beer thing. This is a souvenir for an, uh, of an exhibition. It was an exhibition in Hong Kong, art in Belgium. It was a, a quite a big exhibition. Mm. 
with a lot of money. They make t-shirts, they make cups and all kind of with the logo of the exhibition on it. So it has some special you know where it comes from. Mm. That's why it's a bit more special than for instance this cup that we just bought in the super bazaar and Michelin Bazaar. You bought it? For my girlfriend, I think, for the color. She's very blue, blue minded. Oh, I love just <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to be together and safe. This is from Ika. <laughs> it was a quarrel with my husband who didn't like this plastic. But as we travel a lot, I thought we need it for... This is um, the things that I use when I am alone. <laughs> I drink coffee. And with uh, my gardener when he needs a coffee, I always get some mug. There is not one that goes with the other, but uh, I have them for a long time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cups. <laughs> but we have it. Eh? Yeah. Sandstone from Tunisia, you can find it in the des dessert. I had an ice and bacon and give it to my mother. Oh, she was happy. Mm. Sometimes you, you forget that you can make people happy with so <laughs> little. Don't worry, Janusz bought it in Holstein, the part of the country that used to belong to Prussia. It was a kind of gift. It was very funny because normally you bring something small for your relatives. First of all, I was not very happy about it because I hate uh, flats with too many things, furniture, and this one is very small, so I decided to have only what we really need. But now we really need it. I cannot imagine. Uh, my life without it, and he ta he buys easily wedding presents, and mm -hmm. uh, you you know because you need it if you have a nice dinner, mm -hmm. the glasses and the silver. This is the, always the typical nice. things that you get when you get married, mm -hmm. and here is traditional in our country. Imagine this, isn't it nice? Like this. Mm. Nothing there. Only us and the and the crabs. We were in this holiday with ten friends and then the last night they decided we should get married on the beach and they throw this party and, um, and this was supposed to be the wedding ring so i received it from my husband in the ceremony which was very african very typical <laughs> they had to put it on my finger like that and it hurt the finger a little bit but then mm -hmm. marriage does hurt always <laughs> so <laughs> i think it was very appropriate <laughs> it's very very fragile it's like our relationship <laughs> So, I keep it here because it, it's so breakable as the glass, so I leave it there. This is a souvenir of that time. Oh, when we were on the seaside, the uh, first thing I tried to do when we are on the beach to find that kind of shell. It's my, uh, my lieveling's scalp. Yeah, it's like it, it, it has a value, much more than all the other shells. During the, the holidays, uh, when we were child, we made like with color paper, flowers and forms. All the children, the whole beach, they did it. And then you could buy 
the flowers or with that kind of money. I don't know, maybe I find it some years ago, or two or three years or something. To me. I like them still very much. It's, it's pure love. I think it's crazy to pay a uh, hundred uh, D mark for for a soap um, shelf. Mm. And in February in Madrid, I, I got some sh uh, shells, and then I decided, yeah, this I can use. It's a gift from Gregor, the cultural attaché. It's funny. So every time I wash my hands, I think about being in a Madrid with Gregor and his wife. So. <laughs> yes, before I used it as a cup of coffee, but uh, it's not so stable. And then you put a bit of milk, and if you don't put the milk just in the center, then it's t and it was every... Yeah, it comes from New Zealand. In New Zealand, every beach is different. Like yellow sand, grey sand, mm -hmm. and this was a beach with, the only beach with, with shells, but shells like all kinds, and so you could take what you wanted. And I had, yeah, 10 or 20, and you have, this is one that stays here. I might not need things and when I go to the marketplace there are so many things they offer you so many things and you don't need it it's just wasting time so many things and you look at it would you mind to show me the things from Ikea here in this in, in the house oh, there are many the armchair an armchair and this uh, um, this cloth Mm -hmm. The cartoon box in the corner, mm -hmm. the curtain. I have, I have, um, I made them, but the cloth is from the shop. The sofa as well. Two more boxes uh, under the, um, on the table. One more lamp, second lamp, another lamp, and the cupboard. Oh, I hate it, but I know so many places where you can buy something simple. I have had this period where I was really into this, oh, I have to have this, you know, when you have it, it's the kick, and then you have it, and, and then what? You have it, so mm -hmm. um, it gives you the kick of buying. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's mm -hmm. easy. <laughs> and then it doesn't really give any fulfillment mm -hmm. in the end. Only in a small circle of people, you know, comparing this house to another, mm -hmm. and I have this and that. So mm -hmm. Big deal. You did it all by yourself? Yes. yes. So, I you know. I put all, all the glass I have, and the glass and crystal. You know, it's very different, much different thing. Yes. All things, uh, second-hand things. Uh, so many things in this house we bought in the auction because we have like monthly auctions in our own business. You know? If it were not there, I would replace it by other glass. I am not sentimentally attached to things. I mean, mm -hmm. there is nothing really I am uh, cherishing. Mm -hmm. It is here in the mind. Mm -hmm. well, I miss the place to put things that have any value. There are some objects, are plenty of information. These are really small objects, and if you don't have a special place to put, like this is for the Jews, this is for. You cannot throw all the time everything. Here we have three. Okay, this experiment, this is a really old one and it died. Eh? Mm. It's still tried. But we keep it. Because it has some 
artistic aesthetic pretension, mm -hmm. eternal beauty. Um, everything goes in here because now my son also drives and he has this motorcycle keys and this is my keys and this is the keys of the, the kids car. So this is the vid posh. Jetna som casino. What is that a pitch? Um, uh -huh. mm -hmm. And it has stamps. <laughs> it has well, let's see what is this is. You know, a telephone card, mm -hmm. used one for something you found in the crisps. And it has, I don't know what this is, some, something. Something my to son. put the, the, the laser the thing. Ah, this is sort of a laser mm -hmm. thing, you see? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the key my son brought from I don't know where. Matches, address. Mm -hmm. Well, that's about the pins. My <laughs> little birthday cards from my son. I didn't want to throw away, it was the sweetest thing. But where can I put it? <laughs> I have to empty this every week. It's not a question of money. This must be something special, like friends. You, you choose friends for yourself. You don't. Maybe because of this difficult buying or slowly buying or waiting, maybe I get it from somewhere. But I like things when I when I already have something. This should be something special. So I I like bringing some things with with story with story. I can show you. It's very very funny. This uh, toilet paper thing we can since it's a very simple thing, you see, it's very, very, very normal. We have been living here since 19, we bought it in 1993. I wanted something metal, simple. I was watching, I was having it in my mind and and at last I found it in, in Amsterdam. Nice. And After three years. I had some time off and I decided that maybe I go and to a big store with different departments. And I was it was one of the things I had in my mind. Mm. Another one is It's so strange that I cannot remember that I took decisions. My my girlfriend is a musician. And I one day I decided you should have a wind piano. I started looking for, for a piano to buy it second hand. I decided to buy it, but I had no money. So I, I paid in parts and I needed a complete year to find all the money to, <laughs> to buy it. It was a hard work, but a very nice decision. Mm. Last year she is more in other types of music. Okay. Yeah, this is also something I bought because it has been used so much. I don't know if it's old or not, but it has this feeling of being used so much. The auctions we do are very authentic. In a way, we don't um, resemble a lot of antiques from um, merchants, from merchants. We just have people calling us, my mother has died, uh, we want to sell everything in the house because we don't agree, all the children, mm -hmm. to, to part participate in, in sharing all the things. Mm -hmm. There is a uh, disputation, mm -hmm. a discussion, so we decide to sell everything and we will divide the money. Mm -hmm. This is how it goes. Mm -hmm. So the truck goes, empties the house and the house comes into catalogue. So people of the family come and buy if they want to rebuy their own stuff. Really? They can. If they don't, it's sold to anyone. Mm -hmm. You know, the highest bidder. Mm -hmm. So sometimes this auction thing is very painful because oh. you see very personal things, very things that people were very attached to, who are not always worth very much worth. Something like this, which is not old or nothing special, but it is. It is. 
probably some woman has had this for many, many years. And then in an auction, you see that 200 people look at the same item and they don't give this spread. And that it can be very shocking if the thing belonged once to someone you love, for instance. Sometimes we see dramatic uh, moments in auction. I have been confronted so many times to people suffering from... It is very relative. It is relative. And, but people hurting because of things. Things with with story, with story. To have things, to you know, to feel comfortable. No, no. I wish I could get rid of much more things. Mm -hmm. well, I miss the place to put things that have any value. With the the woman, oh, that was a young that I used as. Uh, oh, it was. We have stopped. Made like a fire. Back out to my compositions. And that was the no, fire of anger. With no furniture.